hello welcome to my channel v11 tarot i hope that you're doing well today's pick a card reading is on your shadows what is lurking in your shadows and how can we deal with them how can we heal them out so i hope that you can join me i post pick a cards every single day i don't miss a beat so if you wish to catch the pick a card train every single morning or every single afternoon please do hit the notification bell after you subscribe if you're coming from my v loving crystals my light worker channel i post a lot of deck reviews over there then i thank you for joining me over here and i hope that you can stick around and subscribe if you haven't already and if you don't know about my pick a card channel i'm mean, sorry my light worker channel my deck review channel i will link it down below so in this video we're talking about your shadows like what is what's what's going on what's lurking in your shadows what is it that you know is trying to seep out but we're just burying them away or we're just we're just not aware of what's there but maybe we get triggered from time to time so i'm going to use all um, types of shadow decks i hope that you can find the links down below if you're looking for them on amazon or etsy and please choose with the intuition number one we have the smoky quartz Number two, you have the purple amethyst. And number three, you have the green crystal quartz. Timestamps are below. I'll see you over in the piles. Number one, you're gonna be first. Thank you so much for being here. All right, pile number two. Thank you so much for your time. Let's figure out what is going on, okay? Let's. Let's dive into the shadows. So I'm sending you love and lights, bright light at that. Prosperous vibes. Okay, friend. Thank you so much for being here. Smoky quartz. So these are great for transmuting that negative, to toxic energy around you and turning it into something more productive, more positive. So that's, that's how we can start this reading. So whatever is in the shadows, let's deal with that deal with whatever is there and heal it and then transmute that into something more positive for you so number one number one number one number one thank you so much for being here what's in your shadows pile number one pile number one what's in your shadows at this time pile number one with love and light for you what is in your shadows, pile number one? So you have two, two of wands here. Please let me clarify the two of wands. What's in your shadows? Queen of Pentacles. What's in your shadows? Pile number one. Please let me clarify the two of wands. Please let me clarify the two of wands. You got the nine of cups in reverse. Okay and seven of swords. Okay, so <clears throat> for you, pile number one, I feel that this energy is basically saying that you're, you don't know which, which direction to take your career in. You don't know which direction to take yourself in, in general. You don't know where to take your, take what path yeah what path to take at at all and so you could be having uh, you know some kind of uh spiritual tantrum you know it's like man i don't know what i want what i'm supposed to be doing i don't know wh wh where where my path is going to lead me i don't even know if i'm on the right path um and it could be it can be that it's pertaining to money here we have the queen of pentacles and you could be at a job where you're feeling like you're just, you're spending a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, and it's going nowhere. And that could, you know, you're bringing in the money, but maybe it's not a fulfilling role. It's not a fulfilling job. And so you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is you not being able to fulfill your heart's desires, your spirit's desires your spirit's calling. So if you go back to the two, the two of Wands, it's saying that you need to go back to the drawing board and make another plan, another blueprint, another game plan, another uh, another route, like plan, put another route in your GPS system. And 
for you know, it's like going back to what made you happy. Go back to the starting point. Yeah, the, the 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 drawing board. You know, it's like scrap scratching it and starting over again. It's like a reset, big fat reset button. Because look, you you want to make money, but you want to feel good about making this money. You want to feel good about all the time and effort and sacrifices you're putting into making a su sustainable career or fi yeah, financial secure secured career you really want to make your time your your effort count so your, your shadow i don't think your shadow i mean your shadow is basically saying are you really happy here are you really happy doing what you're doing or are you just tolerating or are you just faking the funk to get by to you know pay your bills or to satisfy someone else or just because this is safe this is okay um or are you are you like needing more are you wanting to be in control you know what i'm saying this is your, your, your shadow self talking so um i'm gonna pull my autumn's delight oracle this is for sale my etsy shop i have flash sales every month where we have um deals 50 percent off deals so check check out our etsy link we have 18 decks so far so this is the autumn's delight oracle all right so what's in your shadows pile number one what's in your shadows pile number one it's like your your spirit's not ha there we go it's here again your spirit's not happy. Your spirit, your shadow's like trying to tell you. There's a reason why you you feel like you feel depressed lately, or you don't feel emotionally fulfilled, or uh, spiritually fulfilled. It's because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're not really doing what brings you joy, the most joy. So you, now you have to go back to the drawing board, like I said, and figure out what the heck that is. What made you happy at at, at one point? How can you do more of that? And then you have crossroads, same thing as the two of wands, see? Which path will you take? Which path will you take? Will you obey your own needs? Will you obey your spirit's requests? Again, with the strength. Will you follow your own intuition? Not what society wants you wants you to follow, wants you to do. What do you want to do going forward? What do you desire the most? So uh, I'm gonna pull some more cards. So I'm gonna pull this Halloween deck. What's in your shadows? How else can we add to this reading? Pound number one. What's in your shadows, pile number one? What's in your shadows? What's in your shadows, pile number one? So, oh, wow. So we got strength again, and that's exactly what we got here. What was it? There we go. Look at that. So it came out first. I put it back. And what was the other card that came out? It was uh, Fidelity, Strength, on oh, Crossroads. What was this one? Patience. So... Strength is here twice. So it's saying you need to have your courage. You need to not be fearful of making this change, of having to go back to the drawing board. Where's your courage? Only you know what you want. And the fidelity is just like you being faithful, you being obedient. What is that obedient card? You obeying your own needs. Like you staying faithful to you and only you you know maybe you're if you're younger maybe your parents have a, a career set out for you and you're like but I want to do something else so you wait till you're of age and you make your own decisions you know if you feel safe enough to do so my friend whatever you feel safe to do so you got control here so maybe someone is controlling you or telling you how to live your life and you're saying, I got to follow my own true north, my own inner compass. I'm in control here. You have to step into your strength. You got strength twice. 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 
So I'm going to pull my fortune cookie oracle and let's see what this has to say. This is also for sale in my Etsy shop. Look, the link is below. What advice do you need as far as what's lurking in your shadows, Ponomo, one? Thank you. Follow your curiosity. I just said, what is your true purpose, your true calling? What light is pulling you forward? What is that? Doing nails for a living? Going to medical school? Doing tarot? Reiki healing? D walking dogs? What, are, what is it? What is it that you're really wanting? Because your spirit is having a tantrum. Or it could just be just really depressed. The Nine of Cups in reverse. It's like you're not achieving. You're not achieving what you're supposed to be achieving in this time. There's so much potential. And your spirit's saying, come on, let's do this. And your body's like, nope, I'm staying rooted like a tree. I'm staying rooted like a tree. Follow your own curiosity, my friends. That's right. This is the fortune cookie oracle. Beautiful, beautiful hand holding ancient wisdom of messages in this deck. We put a lot of effort and energy and love into this creation here. What other advice do you need, pal one? The past will visit. That is telling me. Oh, wow. Look, and it's with, look at that. T tap into your youth. Es escape from confinement. And before... I don't know if you saw this, but I shuffled again. Look, appreciate the small little things. So it, it could be that you need, to, you need to start from scratch. Look, blank canvas. You need to start from scratch, go back to the drawing board. I just said it. I just said it 20 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. So I think what this is suggesting is that you need to go back to the past, back to the drawing board. Step into what used to make you so happy back when you were younger, perhaps. Let's say that you used to do radio shows back when you were you know a kid right let's say they used to you know record voices record music whatever how can you do that again in this day and age with all the technology we have at our fingertips how can you revisit that tap into your youth your playful side escape from confinement something is keeping you in control some some i don't know if you're be you're obeying someone else's orders you're not obeying your own orders something has you in control look confinement control follow your own curiosity and this appreciate the simple things could be saying you know the advice can be like you know to, to tell you that you don't need to have there we go the horn thank you I'm on the right track you don't need to have the, the, the grand things to make your hobby or your career or your life purpose successful you don't need to have the fanciest gadgets the fanciest computers the fanciest phones uh, 9 million subscribers. You don't need to have all that. Start with what you've got, what you have right now, the simple things. Keep it simple and you will go far. So let's, t let's see what, this is my occupation deck. This is our newest baby and it also is for life purpose reasons. So pile number one, what occupation and life purpose card wants to come out for you? Pile number one, because in your shadows, we're hiding something. So pawn number one, what occupation the life purpose card wants to come through for you? Pawn number one, corporate office, receptionist, support staff, data entry, office manager. So, um, oh wow, and then we have spiritualist. So I think that this, what this is saying is that you need to be in control. You need to step into your queen of energy, your strength. So office manager, and then you have psychic, diviner, light worker, energy healer, medium. You need to step into your power, your strength. Skeleton strength, strength. Because you're, you're, your light is being dimmed by society or by your limiting beliefs or by other people's uh, thumb pushing down on you. And you need to, to break out of that and fulfill your own cups. Fill your own cups. Fill it. Fill it. Go to the youth fountain and start drinking back. Go Start drinking your, from the youth fountain. You have... Step, step into your youth, and then you have nine of cups. And I got this kid right here, and he wants to be, he wants to be happy. He wants to be, he wants to have fun. And this corporate office tells me that you want to take control over your own life, over your own spirit. You need to do so. Okay, that's what I have for you, pawn number one. Thank you so much for your time. All the decks that I used today will be down below. This, like I said, this is the occupations deck, fortune cookie, and autumn delight. And everything else that I used uh, will be linked below as well. If they're on Etsy and Amazon, 
Thank you so much. Check out my pick a card playlist. I have many, 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 many videos in there. I've I specialize in pick cards. I've been doing them for almost three years. And I also do private readings. So all the links are down below. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful day. Closing this out with some good vibes. I'll see you over in pile two, I hope. Hello, pile number two. Thank you so much for your presence, for your energy. Hope you're doing well. Hope that you can share my videos if you find any of them useful. I do have a pick a card playlist if you're looking for more. I specialize in pick cards. I've been doing them for years now. And I also do personal readings, which I also specialize in. I love doing one-on-one -on -one energy readings. So yeah, my five is down below or Instagram me for more information. So we have the purple the amethyst here. So if you're looking to sleep better, put this bait, this bad boy, this baby under your pillow or in your pocket when you're like out and about and you need to rest your mind. Um, <clears throat> or if you want to take a nap, yeah, put, place one of these under your pillow. But if you're needing to relax or have a peace of mind, you know, bring this with you on the road. Relax, you know, especially if you have a stressful job. So let's dive into this pile number two. If you're new here, please subscribe. Let's send you some blessings. Much love. So what is lurking in the shadows and what can we do about that? What is the remedy? So let me know uh, that you stop by by putting two in, your, in the comments. Pile number two, what's in your shadows? Number two, pot number two, what is in your shadows? Pot number two, please help me. Thank you, thank you. Think of yourself while I shuffle. Okay, you have, wow. Okay, check out pot number one. This is incredible. Incredible. Yes, check out number one, please. If you really want to see another queen pop through, we got the queen of pentacles. I'm, I kid you not. And now she, she's here again. So, pile number two. You have a passion for the work that you do. <clears throat> that, that's how I'm going to start with. You have passion. You're in love with your power. You're in love with what you're creating, with your magic. You're in love with your hobby, your job however you make your money, however you feel like you're most successful in, whatever makes you feel like you're in control, you freaking love it. You got the spi spider, oh my gosh, Pana the one had the, spi the, had the spider web, and it said patience, but I kind of buried it back into the deck and I shuffled again. But it's here, be meticulous and patient. All right, so number, number two, what's in your shadows, is that you're, you're, you've, how, you've worked so hard here, you put your you poured your heart and your soul into your creative endeavors in the past, and right now your shadows are like saying, "All right, babe, chill, chill. It's coming. You're gonna be able to harvest. You're gonna be able to pick those apples, those pumpkins. Relax. Those corn, the corn on the cobs. Relax. You got this. Don't worry. Your finances are gonna be." rolling in your your everything's in in order just relax don't burn yourself out don't stress don't think that don't think anything negative don't think that your money's not going to come in that your, your work is not going to you know going to be re uh, um, uh, reaching people you know like maybe that's your fear is that you think that your work is not going to reach reach out to people or people are not going to notice or people are not going to benefit or val find value in your work Spirit is saying, and your shadows are bas basically saying, be patient, my friend. Number three is coming in my mind. You look, you even have number three right here. Three, expansion. Three, abundance. Three, empress. Empress energy. Your money, honey, is going to be rolling in. Abundance, prosperity, luck. It's going to flourish you. It's going to come through. It's going to nourish you. It's going to flourish. It's going to come through. It's going to grow. It's going to nourish you. If you're life path number eight, I would say that I understand that you love to make money. You love to create. You're all about, you know, building, building an ent enterprise, an empire, a franchise, whatever. And you want to make that money. That's how you, you, you find joy. You, you feel like you can be most productive and creative. I understand. But also, also remember that these big establishments didn't just become millionaires overnight. It, it could have taken them decades. You know, it could have taken them 
who knows, even before these, these businesses were born, maybe five years prior to the fact that, you know, there's actual a, a dam established across the street, it could have take, taken them five years to even get the money, to get the plan, to get everything, st you know, started from scratch before they could even say, hey, let's start selling this product or let's start servicing this person. You know, and, and what I'm saying, okay, let's, you know, okay, let's say Statue of Liberty, you know, okay, let's start building. No, I bet you, I bet you they were thinking about it for five, ten, five, who knows, I don't know. But I'm sure that it took them a lot of drawings and scraps and they figured, oh, that's crap, let's scrap that, let's start over. So what I'm saying is things don't happen overnight. Be very patient. Meticulous. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Be, be thorough. Be patient. And so while you're waiting for those, those fruits to be rolling in, those pentacles to be rolling down the hill into your piggy bank, into your, your pocket, into your hands, into your, your tomb, your... Um, your 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 pyramid start planning start preparing start getting your ducks in a row so that when the time comes you're prepared so your shadow is like saying baby you got this what else is lurking in shadows please let me clarify this what else is lurking in the shadows that's so funny how it came out in pile number one with different cards Pot number two, pot number two, what's lurking in your shadows? Please help us, thank you. So you have the hands of fate. Forces beyond your control intervene. And you, <laughs> thank you. You, locked doors can now be opened. See, it's just a matter of time. See, you got this in a bag, the key is in your hand, everything is at your disposal. You just have to wait for it. Wait for those ships to sail in with your merchandise, with your money, with your customers, with your... The, the 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 demands for your your services for your products for for you whatever whatever it is that you're putting out there whatever you're needing to do whatever whatever your shadow is really feeling like it needs to do you'll be able to do it more and it will bring you some good money and abundance hands of fate this can say your shadow side is saying you are stepping over your own feet your trip no your t <laughs> it's oh my gosh. You're tipping, no, you're tipping over, no, you're step, you're tripping over your own feet. You're getting in your own way. Release control, 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 control. Release the queen. Release it. I'm not saying forever. I'm saying know when to scale back, know when to um, put your hands up and be like, you know what? I let the universe, universe, you got this. It's all on you, my friend. Go ahead, universe. I, I trust in you. Or whatever, if you believe in a god, a goddess, a deity, angels, ancestors, whatever, whoever is on your spiritual team, whoever is in, in the back of your minds when you manifest, when you work hard, say, I leave it up to you. You know, I can't control everything. This is beyond my control. I already did my part. I did what I could. I built my little spider web. And now I got to wait for my prey to come in, wait for my pentacles to roll in, wait for my fulfillment cups to... to be there for me to drink out of. Uh, all right, friend. All right, universe. All right, spirit. Thank you. Start receiving right now. Start receiving. Start claiming because it's going to come to you. All right. And then you got the talisman. You got good luck again. My, my, I'm done. See, you're here to succeed. You're here to thrive, survive, be prosperous. You got this. No worries. Your shadow side saying you're thinking about succeeding so bad we understand and it's coming to you because you have put the work now the shadow side the darker side of things could be that don't let this overrule you don't let this control you you know wanting money so bad wanting to be successful so bad wanting clout so bad let's just say wanting to be you know on the front of everybody's minds or on the front stage having the limelight over you don't let this control you don't let this take over your life control your life come on let's bring it down let's be humble again let's be grateful again let's work on those relationships that we're putting on the back burner just to become this queen or king let's, let's ground ourselves again because we're still earthy people all right what's lurking in your shadows pile number two lovely pile number two friends what's lurking in your shadows patterns so breaking the mold, starting something fresh, leaving control, 
at the t on the table, come back to it another time, because you already put in a lot of work. And if you put more control, you're gonna stop your blessings. You're going to block your own self. You're gonna trip on your own feet and get your in your own way. Don't block your blessings, okay, friend? Relax, meditate, distract yourself, do other projects, spend time with friends, pamper yourself, be with family, eat the foods that you love to eat, exercise. Get into some awesome uh, music, meditation music, you know, like start letting control sit at the table and then do your other crafts, break cycles and start on a routine. Underneath we have disguise. So that can, you know, that can be a, a way of saying that your shadows are, are buried deep and you need to like talk about what you're feeling, talk about what you're you're thinking, uh, why is it that you don't think you will succeed? Maybe you need to open your mouth and, and share what's on your heart, on your mind. And maybe that can help you. Take the disguise off. Show what's on your sleeve. Wear your heart on your sleeve. You know, maybe you can find a support group of other people who have control issues. I know I do. Got fire in my chart um, twice over. <laughs> so find a control group. I mean, I'm sorry, a support group, find um, boundaries. Lay some boundaries for yourself, friend. Yes, healthier boundaries, healthier patterns. What is controlling you or what is in your shadows? Control, your control is shattering. So you need to nourish yourself with some good food, some exercise, good mind food, think good things for, for your brain, for your body, meditation, good music, exercise new new healthy habits and then you got ancestors and look look at that thank you deal with your shadows yes 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 disguise nourishment this is my autumn Starlight oracle if you're interested in this i have 18 decks for sale check out my um etsy list listing down below i have flash sales which are 50 percent off once a month so please favorite the shop so you know when those pop up all right, what advice do you need? Look, healing your shadows and ancestors, locating or connecting more with your spirit team, yes, to help you down this path. Maybe you're dealing with the ancestors' shadows of control. And control, wow, oh my gosh, control came out in pile number one. Please do check out pile number one. Control came out in pile number one. Look, Z, zombie control. I kid you not, strength control so something has a control over you or maybe you're something happened to your ancestors back then and now you're you're carrying that burden and you have to heal it out and break the cycle break the patterns and move on do this for your ancestors do this for yourself what advice do you need pound number two thank you for being here pound number two but pound number two what advice do you need at this time this is a fortune cookie oracle created by yours truly and my husband and daughter our first deck we ever, ever put here in the tower community. All right, so, all right, so, all right. Wow, we got four cards. Quench your thirst. So what is it that you want to start doing? You have an empty canvas right here. What do you want to get into again? Put control on the table. Walk away with the other, the other side of yourself. So um, what is it that you would like to really learn? What would you like to do with your, your, your free time? Stay grounded. I just said that. Absolutely. Stay grounded. Come out. Come back to earth. Network is net worth. So networking, connecting with others, collaborating. And this can also say reach out to your family and friends. They miss you. You work so hard. They want to know what your laugh is like again. Beware of hidden agendas, shadows. Beware of your, your shadow self trying to pull you back into the control everything mode the queen okay time to put your royalty hat back on no wait 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 wait. let's scale back a little bit let's relax learn to relax you don't always have to work and work work, work. go 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 and then you have seek out stability so you're needing more st stability in your life more healthier routines that's going to help you stay grounded and stay stable stay on top Okay, for the final card, I'm going to leave you with an uh, occupations card, life purpose card. Your shadow. What does your shadow want you to tap into? What does your shadow want you to focus on at this time to help you down this path? 
Occupations and Life Purpose deck. Supply Chain and Culinary Arts. All right. Okay. Look at that. So your your shadow side wants you to focus on delivering products or focus on delivering what you have what you already have created supply chain so if you have already created products created services created a course uh created a, a blueprint of something if you start something way 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 in the past go back to delivering that because i think you're pushing it on the back burner and 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 then putting everything else prioritizing everything else that you shouldn't be prioritizing start delivering on what you said you were going to deliver start going back to your list and whatever you set yourself to do go back to that you already started something now finish it your spirit's saying finish what you started start delivering what you are being what you are feeling like you should finish on this delivery is like say okay sign sealed let's deliver now you did you already have your hands on something now start to give it out start pouring it out give it to people it could be wisdom maybe you can put it in a book deliver it to people you need an outlet you need to release that's what i'm saying let go of control let go let go culinary arts and we do have the nourishment look it's clarifying the nourishment you need to eat healthier you need to feed your, your body some good nourishing foods organic whole foods clean foods cause so that you can continue doing the work that you want to do so that you feel 100 percent all the time energized and then look lay off the hard labor see this is saying you're working too hard so thank you for watching i wish you love and light you need, you need some rest this uh, amethyst crystal quartz quartz is saying get some rest my friend because for what what you're about to step into you're going to need your strength you're going to need your stamina. You're going to need your water. You don't want to be high and dry doing all this work without your essentials. You want stability. You want to fall back on something more concrete, not faulty. So start creating a, a, a nourishing temple for, you, for yourself to thrive in. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. All the decks that I used today will be linked below whether they're mine or on Etsy or Amazon. Take care, and I'll see you in pile number three, I hope, or one. Much love. Pile number three, thank you so much for choosing the screen crystal quartz for prosperity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope that you're doing freaking fantabulous. Fantabulous. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're not, thank you for returning. And if you were here for my reaction channel, this used to be a reaction channel, but I changed everything up. It's still me. You'll know that I used to do tarot readings in my live streams on this reaction channel. And so I decided to keep on my tarot journey. And now here I am. So I hope that you can subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell. So if you're looking for more pick cards, I specialize in them. I've been doing them for almost three years now. I have a playlist down below. So pawn number three, new message, new people. Sending you love and light and prosperous vibes. Let's see what it is in your shadows. Number three, what's in your shadows? Pawn number three, what's in your shadows? Pawn number three, please help me connect. Thank you. Think of yourself while I shuffle. Okay, what's in your shadows? You have serendipity. Okay. Some good vibes, some happiness. Wanted to come through. Yes, all right. Please help me clarify the serendipity. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. What's in your shadows? What's in your shadows? Pile number three. We're starting off great. Fruition. Oh my. Okay. I digress. Pile number three. What's in your shadows? What's in your shadows? Wonder. And then the next one is solitude. All right. And you got transformation here as well. So, friend. So, what I feel is you're right now. You're in a different state of mind and your shadow side wants you to know that there's happiness on the horizon. So if you're feeling, uh, you know, you're like you're in a funk, if you're feeling drained, exhausted, uh, lost, uh, depressed, anxious, 
Your shadow side is saying, man, let me let the fun side of me come out. Oh, yeah, you did, you did even ha get the playful card. Yes, playful. See? Let this playful side come out. Like, let's get rid of this funk. Let's get rid of this darkness. Let's get rid of the shadows. Let's come on. Well, no, the shadow side is that the happiness wants to come through and take over. So the light side of you is like, man, I'm tired of being in this situation. I'm tired of X, Y, and Z. I want change. I want this. I want that. And your, shadows, your shadow is saying, it's coming, baby. It's coming. We're going down this little road. We're, we're wondering. We're wa wandering and we're wondering. We're, we're, we're figuring out what path to take for you, what, where to take you. It's, it's, all, it's all good. You're going to see yourself rolling in happiness very soon. You got the moon here. It's hidden. It's coming. Celebration, gifts, abundance. And then you got serendipity here. So happiness, happiness is rolling through, playfulness. And a transformation needs to happen in order for this to, to you know, come through to into fruition, right? So you need to deal with whatever's on the surface right now, whatever is apparent right now that you see every single day, that you're feeling every single day stuff. Start 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 working through that. Start start working through that. And that can be like you know, that negative pessimistic energy. Like, um, you know, you're you're surrounded by wonderful people, abundance, uh a good job, uh having a nice warm bed to fall to go fall asleep into fall asleep at night into whatever you know what i'm saying you're having your cake eaten too everything's fine but maybe you're feeling like you want more or you or maybe you're feeling like you, you want to see what else is out there or what's better maybe you're not appreciating what is around you and you, you the shadow saying sweetie pie you got a lot of good stuff going for you start appreciating start being grateful start feeling humble, start uh, appreciating, yeah, the small things in life, because you have a lot going on for you, this, sh you should not be in funkery and darkness, you should not be feeling, be feeling greedy and wanting more, or wanting to see what's on the other side, and I apologize if I'm, you know, laying it out like this, raw, in a raw way, in a blunt way, I really do apologize, this didn't come out in part one or two, but I feel like, number three, you really need to hear this. You have a lot to be appreci appreciative for, a lot to be grateful for, same thing. And your shadow side is saying, how come you're not acknowledging what you're rolling into? All this abundance around you. How come you're not celebrating? You're able to pay your bills. You're able to come out of a warm bed in the morning. You're able to say hello and breathe fresh air. You're able to think, you're able to hear beautiful music. You're able to, able to see the beautiful faces that are in your family. How come you're not acknowledging how lucky you are? You got the prosperity stone. How come you're not celebrating? How come you're not patting yourself on the back? How come you're not appreciating all the little things that you have worked so hard for? Serendipity is here. How come you're not acknowledging the, the synchronicities around you and the signs that you're, it's just getting better. You're, it's just getting sweeter and sweeter. How come you're wondering to see, wondering what's on the other side of the, of the green grass? How come? You got to transform out of that. You got to be more playful, more humble, more grateful. Wow, your shadow's really trying to tell you. You got so much to look forward to. So start changing that mind, that negative mindset. Start clearing out the negative energy if you have any. I feel like you do. Something like is clouding your judgment. Maybe you can step into some good music, some good frequency music, listening to your favorite uh, jams from the from way back when. Start celebrating with your family. Start patting yourself on the back saying, man, job well done. Judgment day is here. Yes, yes, I did it. What's in your shadows, pawn number three? What's in your shadows? You have wolf. Devour the ferocious calling within the howling of your spirit. Run wildly into the freedom of your knowing. So this is saying, go crazy, have fun. How? Let it out. Let it out. Have fun, enjoy, celebrate. You got witch, grab hold. Yes, it's saying claim your blessings. You are rolling in the blessings and you're not even acknowledging them or you're not really enjoying them or being grateful for, feeling grateful for them or saying thank you. Grab hold, allow the dwelling fire within belly awaken all that is. A mere glimpse 
a delicate pull at the very roots living in the alchemy of self. So something is happening inside of you. You need to let it transform you. Maybe you're feeling, maybe you're feeling, you got the moon here, you got intuition here. You hold the answers, you know the truths. Ancient ones await behind the doors of the mind. So you need to change your perception. But maybe you're feeling deep down inside that you don't deserve this. Maybe you're feeling like, oh man, I, you know, I did some things I'm not proud of in the past. Or um, this is too good to be true. Uh, or I want more. Or I want to see how, how far I can push myself to create more. Uh, maybe you're just not feeling very deserving of this energy. And spirits saying, hello, wake the freak up, wake up, wake up, smell the roses, smell the flowers. You got a lot of flowers here, by the way. You got a lot of flowers. Wake up and smell, look at all this beautiful foliage and, and these fruits. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Wake up and smell all the abundance around you. You are very well deserving, very much deserving of this energy. Start rolling in it. Start saying, the hills are alive, like the wolf. Ow! Start doing this, start claiming, start receiving, because this is due to you. If you did something in the past, make amends with it. Heal those shadows. You know, <clears throat> work with the moon, work with your ancestors, work with, you know, your journal, do some journaling. Um, cleanse your minds, like meditate. Make peace with whatever you did in the past. And know that whatever is happening here is due to you. It's here. It's here. And it's saying, are you here for the taking? Are you going to receive with this big fat hand and glitter? Glitter is here. Magic is here. You're going to receive it. Open your hands and receive. Pile number three. So it's like I need to be truthful with you because, <clears throat> number one, you're probably not being very grateful. Number two, you're probably not feeling like you deserve this. You're feeling like you don't deserve this. And so I have to kind of like snap you out of that and change your perception or try to or help you transform your mind a little bit. Because you deserve this. You deserve what's coming to you. The beauty, the beauty that life has to offer you today. Hold on. So you got these beautiful cards. Auburn, ground yourself. Needing to ground yourself. Needing to feel whole. Needing to feel your body. What are you feeling? Ask yourself, what am I feeling today? I'm feeling mad, all right, let me honor my feelings. I'm feeling happy, let me honor my feelings. I'm feeling controlling, I'm feeling like I have OCD today, all right, let me honor my feelings. Feel, you got tangerine, be spontaneous, have fun, absolutely, playfulness, thank you. Thank you, bunny rabbit. And awaken your empathy. That can say that maybe you are blocked. See, look, success is here for you, see? You are probably blocked. You're probably like saying, I closed my heart one time and I did. I forgot to open it back up again. Maybe you had, maybe the empath and you had to close yourself up to a certain situation, but then you never um, reversed that action and now you're feeling closed. And that's why you're blocking out these blessings. You're blocking out this abundance. Time to receive, okay? Awaken your empathy. Dig into your heart space again. You're, you're, your, your um, heart chakra, which is green. Dig into that. Wh whip it out. Whip it out, okay? So let me leave you with the Autumn's Delight. This is my Autumn's Delight Oracle. I have a, a flash sale. I have flash sales every month. They're 50% off. And also buy any two, save $10 with free USA shipping and tracking. Check out my Etsy down below. All right, this one. Curiosity. Yeah, like the playful rabbit. Let's go into the garden and see what's there. Maybe that look and wondering, yes. Maybe you need to wonder. Maybe you, you are wondering what's on the other side. But maybe you need to stay where you are now and appreciate where you are now. Be curious about what you have in front of you. Stay in your, in your lane, in your field. Whatever you have built for yourself, don't escape it. Stay there. Enjoy it. Roll in the hay. Roll, like I said, the hills are alive. Focus where you are now. Stop trying to escape and go somewhere else. Do the work where you are now. Enjoy where you are now. Okay, what's, your, what's in your shadows? What's in your shadows? Home, yes, be where you are now. Oh my goodness. 
say stay where you are now and do the work there so that you can heal and you can move forward and then you can travel then you can want wonder and wander look ancestors here so you need to either connect with your spirit team to help you ground yourself look ground yourself like this mushroom in the ground root yourself maybe you need to come home stop wandering so much stay where you are now and this intrusion card can say that maybe you have negative influences or negative um, mindset or you just need to change your perception you know start um healing yourself so that you can feel your emotions again and you can come out of this shadow of this this funk your shadows want to help and be healed you know your shadow wants to be playful and be happy all right i'm going to leave you with my fortune cookie oracle ancient wisdom is in this deck my husband and i and my daughter and i and my husband and i want us to bring something beautiful and helpful and practical to life and look at overcome adversity so you will get over the hard times you will get over your shadows a transformation is near and see thank you <sighs> a transformation is near you got it twice so you are not going to feel like you're in this funk anymore the the moon you're going to do do your work with the moon and then the next day the sun's going to come out and you're going to feel like you're starting a brand new day so when it comes to my occupations deck let's see what we have for you what does your spirit want you to focus on when it comes to life purposes? What does your spirit want you to focus on? Beauty care. So this can say, focus on how you're perceiving things. Like, you know, how, how you're viewing things. Uh, the, beauty is in the, the eyes of the beholder. So start looking at things with positive glasses, not negative glasses. And this could also say, you know, pamper yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your skin. Take care of the things that make you feel beautiful. If you feel like, you know, makeup makes you feel beautiful or you taking a salt water bath, whatever, you doing your tarot, doing Reiki, whatever, pamper yourself. This transportation is saying, look, transformation, transportation. I, I digress. It's like saying, yeah, and then you have wonder. So you, yeah, you wondering. Look, you're wandering and you're wondering. You're like, you're going on your, your journey. This is part of your, your, your spiritual transformation with this butterfly here and so keep stay in on your path stay on your path stay in your pumpkin and yeah stay home focus on what you're doing here at home all right so that's what i have for you thank you so much for your time sending love and light to you your shadow basically wants you to be happy your shadow doesn't want you to feel sad your shadow wants you to celebrate you have a lot to celebrate so take care hope that you can join me for another pick a card tomorrow i have a pick a card playlist if you're interested in more and all the decks that I used today, this is my occupations and life purpose deck. Everything will be down below. Hey friends, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a tip jar if you would like to support this channel and keep the energy going. The energy exchange goes a long way. It helps me stay motivated with pick cards and fun other video, other fun videos here on the channel. So there are different ways to do that. I have the join memberships right next to my subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll see all the different tiers that I offer. It's also reflective on Patreon. So whatever you decide to choose, it would mean so much to me. And your name gets put at the beginning of my videos to say thank you for